Hi all, it's Karen and what up? here for Karen and Bluto's Nerd Nerd Review Channel with another movie review, obviously. Movie movie movie. Yeah, so we one. are moving on to the 80s now in this one. Another shorty, but goody. Uh, from 1986, Chopping Mall, hour and 16 minutes, rated R. You could tell we were doing some short movies with some That's of these. Like. That's what I like. You like long movies. movies. Yeah, it depends. You like three-hour superhero movies. Yeah, I have to watch Endgame yet because we got Disney Plus, so I got to check that out now. Anywho. Are they going to pay for this since you plugged it? Probably not. All right, moving on. Anywho, so we start out the movie. Hold on, I'm adjusting here a little bit. Um, basically, it's a commercial from Securetronics Unlimited with these new protector robots that are supposed to be the, that are going to be the new mall security for whatever mall USA they're in. So basically, it's kind of a commercial showing about burglar breaking in and getting stunned until the police come. So basically, um, they're the head of the firm, the place the security thing. Head is, of the mall. Well, he, the, well, the head of the mall and then the head of the security firm is discussing this to a group of like the mall store owners and board yep. members and shit. And basically the, Head of the security company goes, oh, it's a foolproof system. <coughs> you right? That's me. Oh. So, cough, cough, me. cough, foolproof system. So, basically, then it goes into the opening of a movie with a whole mall montage. You know, different things going on. In case you don't know where the mall is, you can watch this movie. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think malls... Malls are out of date now. Yeah. So basically, once our montage is over and done with, there is a lightning storm outside the mall that strikes the building. Foolproof system. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> You're weird. So basically, in the middle of all this, one of the protector robots kills the one security guy in the middle of all this after lightning starts strikes the building. Foolproof system. <laughs> Yeah, lightning strikes him. Yeah. Then he has a soul, and he becomes Johnny Five. Wrong movie. Right? Oh. That's a different Oh, movie. yeah. Sorry. So, basically, they're a part of our group of characters in this movie work at this one furniture store, and they're planning, after the mall closes, that they're going to have this big old party in the clothing store. Party at the mall. Yeah. So, um, basically, after this, it goes to various people that are going to be at this party showing different things, like the one married couple that's outside, the one guy's girlfriend who works at the clothing store, and the two girls that work at the one restaurant thing. Are you tapping me? No, I'm watching you over your arms. Oh. So, um, uh, I lost my place on my notes. Meanwhile, it's a short movie. Yeah, come on. Anyways, cool the next course. guy shows up to manage the, the protectors, and basically they communicate with each other and kill this guy. Foolproof system. That's the guy that reads in a magazine. Yeah. No, that's the, no, the first guy was reading the magazine they killed. The second one was the one that was just sitting there, and they got him in the back of the head. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like the guy in the magazine. <sighs> See? How many times have you seen this movie, and now you're mixing things up? I didn't see it so many times Halloween. Oh, okay. So anyways, the party commences at the store, and here one of the guys is kind of set up with a blind date with one of the girls. I think I have their names written down later. I like the hurry back girl. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, basically, Protector One starts patrolling the mall. And the big thing is with these protectors as well is they're not supposed to have access to the actual stores to cause damage. Foolproof plan. <laughs> Okay, we get it. That's getting old. <laughs> Anyways, there's four couples like totally hanging out with this this party. <laughs> and it gets to one point where three of the couples are making out and the two that are kind of on the blind date are watching some old black and white movie. I'll be watching the ones making that. So Let's see the hurry up girl. It's kind of them talking and then we cut away to a janitor that's cleaning up in the mall. Dick and, Miller. Yeah, who I love you. Who Rest peace, away. bro. You are so awesome. Which you would know him from various other little cameos, especially like He was so cool. Gremlins. I miss him. Especially that's Demon where Knight. I first saw him. Terminator. I forgot about Demon Knight and Terminator. So basically you you guys, if you see him, you will know him. Yes. He is awesome. 
Anyway, so he's cleaning up a mess that somebody left, and two other janitors go by, and they're like, oh, you gotta get that so you don't get locked in the mall again. Ha, ha, ha. Like, just basically being jerks. So they walk away, and then one of the protector robots comes up to him, and what are you doing? Nothing. Besides <laughs> putting your fur all over the place. So he's scrubbing up. One of the protector robots show up. And he's like, oh, you're one of those little robots that, you know, he's just basically harassing them. Well, there's, uh, it had run in and knocked over his bucket. So that's why he's kind of like getting well, too. pissy with him. I just well, then dinner. the protector robot ejects his like stun gun thing. His, yeah. And it goes into water and he's like, well, what the hell? And then he elect it electrocutes uh... him. And it's so funny. After the robots kill anybody, they're like, what, well, thank you. Have a nice day or something. Yep. <laughs> like that. It's just. Dick it's, got electrocuted. Yeah, so he's dead. He's a dead guy. So anyways, yeah. we go back to our furniture party and people. Furniture party and people. Yep. Cool. And the one couple, the one girl's like, I need a cigarette and I only smoke oh. Virginia Slims. And, <laughs> and the guy's like, because this is back in the day where you could get like the cigarettes out of the little like. I want to go vending to machines. Cigarettes. You still occasionally see those, but it's too far between. No, I don't think it's the mall. It's Toys R Us. Toys R Us isn't even around. Anymore. They stand with Toys R Us, didn't they? I don't think they had them in Toys R Us. Oh, I thought you could buy cigarettes at Toys R Us. No. Oh. So, okay. um, she sends her boyfriend off to go get her a pack. And of what smokes. she did before? She flashes her boobs and it's like, "Hurry back." Did so he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll be back." Rah, 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 rah. So That's he goes just to come back. So he goes, grabs his ID because I guess if you have this ID, it can be scanned and you're fine with these protector robots as long as you're allowed to be in the mall. Yep. So he eventually gets over to the cigarette machine, and I died laughing because he's like, "Oh my god, a buck and a quarter!" I know, really. I'm thinking, God, people would kill for that price today. They're like fifty cents now. <laughs> we wish. On the topia, they're fifty cents. So. Anyways, one Jealous? of the, no. <laughs> so one of the protector shows up and goes after this guy and eventually kills him. That's okay. So then his girlfriend is like, "What's taking him so long?" She goes looking for him. And what do they show? Her butt. Yep, a close-up of her butt. <laughs> so she eventually finds him and he's leaning up against the side of the cigarette machine, and she thought he was sleeping. I thought she didn't see him, just tripped over him. Well, yeah, she tripped over him. Well, then she realizes he's dead. Yep. And then one of the protector robots starts chasing her. She gets back in she front. She gets the coolest kill. She gets back in front of the furniture store. Everybody else is looking. And all of a sudden, the protector shoots a laser and blows her head up. Yeah. And he's like, thank cool. you. Have a nice day. You know. So the protector, the other, another one of the protectors says protector one and two see them in the store so they start going into the store after the other six people and that yeah that's why i was just, you smell that yeah okay sorry sorry guys it moving was, on something's just i don't know if my lights are just burning it's like a skunk yeah sorry could be sorry guys moving on anywho so protector one and two go into the store after the other six people that are still in there they go to hide in the storage room and while they're in there trying to figure out how they're going to get out, the mall goes on lockdown. So basically, at this point, they are locked in the mall until 6 a.m. in the morning, I believe it is. Yep. Unless they can, something about, at this point, they're trying, they figure out they can go through the ducts and the ceiling and try to get down to the garage and escape. So they get the girl, girls up into the duck while all of a sudden the robots break in through before the guys can escape. So they That's cool. the guys take off and another one tell the girls to keep work their way to the garage and escape. So while they're up there, the one girl kind of starts freaking out. She's worried about her boyfriend. Like, oh, he's hurt and he needs me and everything else. And the other two girls are trying to like, just calm down. It's fine. Let's keep going. So once the guys get out of the store, they break into a sporting goods store and kind of start stocking up on weapons. Which I love how these mall movies back then, yep. even with Dawn of the Dead, all of them had a sporting goods store inside the mall. Yep. Malls in the 70s and 80s had guns and blow up stuff. Yeah. So it's very convenient. I know. I know. Okay. So, um... Basically, Next. the boys are trying to, you know, find the robots to try to take them out. Yep. So they start shooting to attract them. 
and one of the protectors comes and um, they have a propane tank. So basically they throw the propane, what? That really stinks. I'm sorry. Yeah, I Moving know. on. I'm What's sorry. It's distracting. Um, takes the propane tank, throws it at the robot and blows it, blows it up. He blew it up. He blew it up. He blew up the robot. So eventually we cut back to the girls who happened to fall and happen to get down in a hardware store. Are there hardware stores in the mall? I don't know. In this movie there are. Okay, I'm in real life. So they try to, you know, they build some stuff and start to look for the boys. Well, here, in the meanwhile, they show the first robot. They blow it up, Protector 1. It didn't blow up. So there's still technically three robots and not two. Uh-oh. So um, the guys get to the elevator, and they're like, oh, you know, they start rigging it to try to lure them in there to blow them up and everything, because... Nothing in the mall is working because everything's controlled by the computer that controls the protect protectors, the robot. So wow. it's like they really have no control. The malls really have that now? I have no Never clue. Never heard of it. Weird. So anyways, um, sorry. The guys are getting the ro the elevator rig. They hear the girls screaming. So they go looking uh, for the girls. Um, the one that was freaking out falls and ends up getting caught on fire by one of the robot other that was cool. robots and dies. That was cool. So the guys show up and help, they get away. Um they're chasing well they're chasing I have their they're chasing um they get the one lord in the elevator, they shoot the tank and it blows up. It falls the elevator falls and it blows, blows up. up. Yeah. So yep. they did take out one then. You are right. Um and you're shaking the camera. Yeah. Ooh. They go at this point they go and take refuge in one of the restaurants and discuss about the best way to do this to get rid of everything is to shut the computers down. Yep. So they're trying to figure out, the you know, figured out where the computers are at to go shut them down. And the guy whose girlfriend got caught on fire kind of is being pissy that nobody helped her. And well, yeah. But everyone's like, you know what? There was nothing we could do and all that. So when they decide that they're going to go and shut the computers down. He takes off running ahead of everybody, even though everyone's yelling, like, wait, wait. Well, he goes running up the escalator, and he's yelling, like, come on, hurry up. Well, one of the protectors shows up behind him and throws him off the escalator, and he goes splat. Yep. That was cool. So, um, yeah. somehow in the middle of all... Oh, there another one shows up, and they f figure out that the one they thought they blew up didn't blow up, so there's still two that they're trying to get away from. Yep. So, um... I have something about the they hide out in another store, and the protectors are continuing to chase them. Oh yeah, they go into the one department store and hide out there for a little bit. And the one protector is cornering one side, and one's cornering the other, like both entrances, expecting them to try to come out. Yep. So um, whenever they realize the one broke in the store, they were trying to figure out what they were going to do to escape. Sorry, I keep knocking my drink Jeez. over. And what they do is they look at the mannequins and they find mirrors. Well, they set them up in front of the store. So when they lift the gate, the protector that's up on the second floor will fire and the lasers will fire back at them. That was cool. Which was actually very, it's very cool when hey, you it think works. about it because it gave them targets to look at while they were trying to escape. Yep. But um, in the middle of all this, because the with the mirrors, the lasers were reflecting back all over the place. One of the girls gets shot. And, um, yep, the dark hair one, right? Yeah, the, the married couple that were outside at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, I remember that. And, um, her husband goes into this like mall car thing, goes after him, and somehow they blow up the robot other. and he gets electrocuted. So, yeah, that was cool. They're down to one protector being left at this he probably point. Wanted to die. So, they eventually, um, they, um, the two that are left. Okay. I can't remember their names. Chick one and chick two? No, the... Nerdy, oh, the nerd and chick one. Yeah. So basically, the nerdy guy's like, let's split up. The computer board, the computer mainframe has to be in one of these two areas. We need to split up and look. So basically, the one protector ends up finding the girl. She screams. Um, nerd guy finds them. Um, lures the protector away. And he attacks the guy and throws a fire hydrant, no, a fire extinguisher at him. Oh, yeah. 
and he's just laying there motionless. So then the protector ends up going after the girl. Uh, the girl. The last, girl? The last girl. Yeah. Can't she's remember going. her name. Um, she she ends up breaking right? in. Huh? She doesn't have the comment. I, um, I never saw it. I think. She ends up breaking into the pet store and hiding, and the protector comes in, but can't. And yep. he's knocking stuff all over the place, so he knocks over this tank full of snakes and spiders. And they start crawling all over her, so she's trying to well, keep her pets. screaming. They're pets. Yeah. So she, the robot leaves the store. She leaves the store. Um, she sees the robot coming around. She's hanging off the side of the railing, trying to hide from That's mom. cool. And then this lady, she lets loose and falls to below where there was like a, a little kiosk with like suitcases or luggage or a something. Kiosk? Little display store underneath. Oh! It's called a kiosk. I didn't know that. I just saw the store outside the mall. The robot comes after her. So, I mean, she is hurt at this point, but she does go crawling towards a paint store. And before the uh, other that cool. protector can get to her, she's dumping different cans of paint and varnish and paint room. Uh, she's just dumping a bunch of stuff because she still has this flare yeah, that she had taken from the hardware store. So then she lures the protector in there. And what happens on the paint, he's spinning out and can't move. So she gets herself out of the store, is holding the yeah. flare that's what it is, a flare. Yeah, of the flare. Yes, You're like, can. woo! Not that flare. Oh. And she basically looks at the robot and says, have a nice day. She lights the flare and throws it, and the robot ends up exploring. Classic. Which is a great scene at the end. And yep. then she comes out, and here, nerdy guy is still alive, because he yells, hey, nice shot. Yeah, he did a lot. And they hug, and that's how it ends. Yeah. So, he didn't do too much. I liked it. It's a cool movie. I said... It's on Amazon as of now. Watch yeah, it. Amazon Prime. That's what we watched off of. I think Bob actually does have this movie. Okay. Um, we were all talking the other night when we watched this, and I said, I just remember seeing the the VHS cover way back in Me the too. day. And the poster at the one video store. It's cool, but it has nothing to do with the movie. Exactly. I just always remember looking at that like, what is this movie about? You know, what what's going on here? And I was probably watching it while yeah, you were like, probably, what's that? Yeah, so, like I said, it's just so funny. It's good. It's good. I, I mean, like it's good. Stuff. So, that is it. Please remember yep. to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when we post new content. Help share the page. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribers, thank you. You guys are awesome. Yep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Keep coming back. Okay. Um, Wishlist is posted on Amazon. Check out Kate All Games, Toys, and More. Yep. This guy shows up over there every so really. often. Yes, he does. I think that's it because that skunk smell still yeah, around I'm gonna here. Go throw so up, we so gotta go cut. see what's going on with that. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.